umesikia women repianu akimweleza aki ya kwamba tuko na shida ya finance bill you've had pinky pinky donkey talk about pesa ambao haifiki mashinani and you've had your governor say categorically ya kwamba huku mbele musifikirie ati kuna taa hakuna taa ni mwangaza tu peke yake giza sorry peke yake giza we have a very serious problem in this country and that problem is called william samoe ruto na muskiza vizuri he is called william samoe ruto he is collapsing our country every single day you wake up every single day you wake up every single day you go to bed know that yesterday was better than today every single day he is collapsing our nation economically morally socially and we must ask ourselves this question are you going to wait for years are you going to wait for years because what country are you going to have in four years time it is a question we must ask and we say so here without fear in the house of the lord because we must ask even the church kwa sababu zamani wakati tulikuwa nafanya mageuzi and the time of the second liberation we had a very strong fraternity of religious sector they stood up for kenyans they stood up against those who were being detained like my good brother Raila Amolo Odinga and Jim here they stood up against the injustices of death even for the sake of their own lives there was a man called bishop muge a kalenjin from eldoret who stood up continuously against moi and he mysteriously was killed but that did not keep the church quiet sikuizi ni kama mnaogopa you are talking in platitudes you are talking this way this way ah uh-uh. one of the key purposes of the church is to stand up for its flock so i want to ask church members here in oriri niambie ukweli niambie na muniye please please tell me honestly is your life better today than it was before the elections yes or no Do you have more money in your pockets today than you had before the elections? No. Ah, yeah. Do you have more jobs today than you had before the before the elections? No. Are things more expensive or are they less expensive? expensive. Are they more expensive or less expensive? Ah, yeah. You have nothing. Nimesikia huko. Now, you ni vizuri mjue this is the case all over this country. Hata wale wa, wa kwangu huku Muranga ambao walipigia huyu kura they are suffering even more than you here. And no, I'm telling you the truth. Huku shida yao ni nyingi kushinda nyinyi hapa. Hii ni dhuluma aina gani hii? What kind of curse do we have in this nation? And the curse is very simple. We have somebody who has decided akisimama namna hii i want to cause pain on people akiangalia nyinyi mkiwa na furaha sijui ni nini namuuma uchungu 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 you have seen the these this housing bill si ndio si mmeiona the housing bill was a bill that nobody wanted public participation said do not support they did not support this bill this levy i they go against it 
What you don't know is that when it went to court, it is a tax, lakini kwa budget haiko. It is not in the budget. When it's not in the budget, it means that hiyo pesa sujui, when you are there collecting from you, we don't know where it was going. Now, the court has said it is unconstitutional. And he is still talking as though he has a war with the people. As though an apigana na wananchi. He is telling you I'm still going on. He can go on with affordable housing. Lakini hiyo tax, that levy, he can no longer collect. Na ile ambao amechukua so far. Because we don't even know how much it is. Ama mjini munajua? Munajua? Lakini ni pesa yenu? He must return it to the people of Kenya. Arudishe. Kwa sababu hata akileta mswada huku mbele, don't be fooled. It cannot be retrospective. It cannot be backwards. Tuko pamoja? The one he has collected is unconstitutional. Return it to the people of Kenya. And if you do not return it, you have decided you are causing more pain. You have decided you are against the constitution of this land. You have decided to be a thief contrary to, the, to your oath. And we are going to ask the people of Kenya this question. Mutaendele na hii mutu ama mutaendele na hii? Mutakufa tena na tena ama yeye aende? Mutangojia miaka inde kweli ama aende saa hii? Unajua ni uliuliza watu wakiambu na mna hii wakaniambia saa hii. I said tumbatia three months wakasema basi. Hiyo likuwa januari. Hiyo likuwa? Sasa ni miezi bili. Na nikiambu na walimpatia kura. Ako na miezi bili. And we do not issue threats. We do not issue threats. He works for us. We are the ones who have put him there to work for us. He is not our boss. The worker can recall the boss can recall the worker, can sack the worker. See you? He works for us. He is enjoying our taxes. That is Italy. That is our ushuru that is taking it there. He works for us. He has two more months to show Kenyans he is not about paying to us. Na kikosa hiyo, atajua wanaiji wako na mnagani. Amina nataka kumuuliza hivi hii. Raila akishika hapa, unajua mimi nataka hiyo kiti. Mimi si sioni mtu mwingine, mimi naona Ruto. Naona? Raila akishika hapa. Na Jimmy ashike hapa, wun pala. Na Oregu ashike tumbo yake namna hii. Mutamshikilia mgu huku chini? Mutamkamata huku chini? Mutamkamata kabisa? You will not let us down? Let us be very clear about that. We cannot do it alone. We cannot do it without your spirit. Without your help. My good friend James talked about a borrower. Proverbs 22.7 says the following. A rich man shall rule over the poor and a borrower shall be a slave of the lender. Proverbs 22, 7. We are now in this country slaves of lenders. And it's important you know that and every day, Akitembea, he is making sure we are more and more enslaved. So anything you do, anything you try to do, will fail. 
and I'm not talking doom ni ukweli. You know we must be realistic. Si nimekuambia shida ni nani? Ni mtu mmoja. We must be realistic. And we ask ourselves is this going to continue or not? I plead with the people who really with all my heart injustice in this country from the time of Mubeberu wakati wa Mubeberu who brought independence here it is the communities of the lake and what was what the mountain kweli ama si kweli we are the ones who stood up against the mzungu colonialist we are the same ones who stood against a man called Moi who had become a local tyrant muzungu colonialist tukasema tuwe apende asipende aliwa watu wengi but your governor here for those of you who are young usimona this is a stone this is a rock you have a man and a half right here with you when they were very few six of them in parliament used to be called the bearded sisters they were marked for assassination for jailing for everything i think there are probably about two or three of you left standing mbigie makofi huga pamoja if they could stand up against a tyrant an african kenyan colonialist when this media was not there when if you spoke like this ukitoka namna hii unashikwa na police unaoka detention without trial when the only voice was bbc or voa na walitoa hiyo kitu called to way mageuzi ikaja ikatoa moi could not stand again that is what led to ippg sasa huyu jameni kweli atatushinda kweli atatushinda nyinyi mnaona a full term ni nasema you people are very courageous mnaweza kuvojia another four years kwa hii uchungu if you can sawa sawa lakini one thing i know ziwa victoria na watu wa mlima kenya wakishikana this man is gone in the morning he's gone in the morning na si ukabila it is the will to stand up and fight that has been proved from time immemorial against injustice na hii ni injustice so i plead to you kwa sababu tuko kwa kanisa tutakuja we are going to come and talk to you properly on the roads and in your homes prepare for what is coming sooner than you can imagine god bless you asanteni sana we appreciate